Brian. Um, here with me, my next guest is here to promote an art exhibition um, which goes from Tuesdays to Fridays from noon to 6 p.m. and it goes until November 27. Uh, here to talk to us a little bit about, about this uh, art exhibition is Peter Shepard. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah. um, yes, tell us a little bit about your artwork. All right, first of all, uh, I've been painting my whole life in the South Coast, and it is. Both of my parents were also painters, and um, I learned to paint from them more or less, both in what I paint and how I paint. And uh, we, used to, we used to take long drives everywhere in Canada. We used to drive all the place, and, and in so doing, we were exposed to series that my parents painted and I still like drive around everybody, my, my friends know me as what he likes to drive everywhere in the four corners of Turner. Um, I paint very rural scenes. Now I'm also a very detail oriented person. So combining uh, large sceneries that you see outside into small formats, I've kind of made a niche for myself in that I paint miniature paintings, very, very small paintings. And um, you're gracious enough to bring one of those miniature paintings with you. Yes, um, this is... So if we could get Peter to in a little bit to this painting, you could tell us a little bit about it. Sure. This is an, a, a painting that is done with acrylic paint, with a very tiny brush, a triple zero brush. Now painted on gesso board, which is a very smooth surface, so it takes okay. details very, very good. And it's what has become my trademark uh, painting in the size and the subject matter. Uh, I belong to a society that specializes only, only in miniature art in, in England. So every year when I'm, you know, at a different time of year from when I'm doing my show in Trinidad, I participate in their show. And in last year's show, when I set these up, they won the award for best in show in England. So in, in this collection here at the 101 Gallery, I decided to stay true to my niche and keep the work very detailed and very small. So this exhibition, the theme of it is just really small paintings. Wow. So this is the smallest. This is this is two inches by four inches. And it's a whole it's a whole river scene, you know, with all the foliage and so on around it. And if you look into the back of the painting, you can act, it's actually like a journey in. There's a bridge all the way in the back of the painting, so it allows the viewer to kind of enter the scenery and wonder what's up behind the corner of the river, like you would do when you go to a river. Right. I see now why I say um, that you are a very detailed artist. Yes. That is Listen. full detail. So. This, this is a complete contrast to what I like in real life, in that I'm such a carefree, sort of untidy person, and then when it comes to my work, it, it's just the complete opposite, and I, I escape into this little sort of detail, and it's intense for me to do it as well. I have never seen, but uh, as you say, you're probably the only um, artist that paints small. I wouldn't say I'm the only artist. Um, we have some um, established artists in Trinidad that painted small. When I was growing up, Alan King painted, um, he was most known for painting his uh, miniatures of the magnificent seven around the savannah. Um, he was a miniaturist, Maureen Autier. Um, she's a member of the Art Society now, of which I'm the vice president of the Art Society, we'll talk about that later. Um, she painted in miniature formats. And the way before that, uh, our, our master artist of all time, Kazamon, um, when you look at his work, even though his paintings may be large, there was aspects of it, the focal point that was done on a very miniature scale. So to some extent, he too was a miniaturist. So I've learned from all of them growing up as well. And it's a perfection as I see. Exactly. Okay, so tell us about the little pieces that you have brought. So what's that? I got a little I got a little bigger in my range. So they're still considered small paintings, and to some degree they're still painted in a miniature scale, meaning that the canvas is of a certain size, like the bigger one on the wall. Yeah. It's 10 inches high by 20 inches across. But the scale of the painting within it is still very tight and very uh, 
considered miniaturistic in steel. Mm -hmm. That painting is actually my apply my sense of humor, my political statement into things that are going on now. It's a topical um, painting. It's called Reroot. R E colon R W -O T. Right? And it's about a fictitious lagoon somewhere in South Trinidad with a fictitious highway that can be built using a causeway or a bridge without affecting the geology or the hydrology of the environment that it's going through. And it's, it's illustrating, there's a truck and there's a taxi on the highway and so on, it's illustrating the connectivity between communities with trade and transport and so on, while creating recreation in the middle for people from the community. All of that is in that picture. Okay. <sighs> And then in the other one, that just, you know, I have a passion for the rivers and the northern rain, so the other one is just um, using the shape of the canvas, the sort of, uh, it's very turbulent water, rapids, so you feel like the water is coming down the river like that. Mm -hmm. Likewise, the embrace of the bamboo. So I felt that both those things would work nicely in an oval format. That's what that thing is. It's just called rapids. Right, very nice. And um, once again, um, our exhibition is on Tuesdays and Fridays from noon to 6 p.m. and it goes until uh, November 27th. Um, at the 101 uh, Gallery. It's located uh, at 84 Woodford Street in Newtown. And it's also open on Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. Right. All right. So we'd uh, like to thank Peter Shepard for being a part. Thank you for having me. Um, we're going to take a very quick break. Stay tuned. You're watching that.